Good afternoon, ladies and gents. <laughs> Last video though, you just seen that it was just out of the mountains. Uh, and my, my kit was soaking, and, well, not all of it, but my tent and all the stuff. So I had everything out here, and it's to, to get dried out. So it's all ready to get packed away. Normally I'm talking about kit when I'm up here, and you don't really get a good look at it, because I don't be pulling it out. So I'll give you a look at some of the stuff I have, and, and just let's see what I'm carrying, sort of thing. I've used guys that uh, is more into the sailing side of things. This is still part of what I do. This is my adventure side, and I always praise adventures. Even these guys that's sailing in the locations, let's get out of the marinas, let's go anchor somewhere, let's get your dinghy out, and let's go into the countryside, let's go into the wild, let's start using your boat like it was an anto, an adventure machine. Let's get out there and explore more, as I always say that. So loads of all stuff goes on, eh, and it's over on my Instagram account, and you'll get to know more about me through my live videos that I do on that on adventures. And I'd say, skipper underscore james with three s's underscore three three and uh, if you go over there and add me then you'll see me talk sometimes more uh, live and you'll understand what goes on in my head sometimes when i'm doing this stuff so let's take a look at some of the kit i'm gonna start out with a sleeping bag here that i use because i think it's important for so that is the actual sleeping bag it's uh, a military grade it's a military grade uh, arctic sleeping bag right it's a synthetic bag, okay? I have actually a large one. And you're saying, what do I need a large one for? But anyway, so I can move about in it a wee bit easier. Yeah, it's just it's just nicer, it's more comfortable. A uh, couple of pockets inside it. Nice thick, nice thick sleeping bag. Good hood on it. Now, the thing about a synthetic sleeping bag, it's not like a feather and down bag. If this gets a wee bit damp, and wet, it'll still stay warm, it'll help keep you warm. The feather and down bag gets warm, you're, you're in a wee bit of bother, and so it'll start getting that way. Uh, that's what I said. Uh, good DOS bag, very warm. When you take it out of the, the, the compressing sack, so I'll show you it in the compressing sack and stuff in the middle. When you take it out, any sleeping bag, even your feather and down, even these ones, right? When you get them out, fluff them. Give them a good going like that to separate the fibres and it's a must. It helps keep you warmer. So remember when you're getting in the dust bag, it, you know, it's all about the prep. Yeah. And this thing, if you learn out in winter and tense and sometimes you get condensation and dump, this and all about. I'm gonna show you what else I use here. So let's take a look at what I use with this thing. Again, it's a Cortex. Yeah, uh, not a big baby, but I don't care. Goes over the top. I'm not going to put it in because it's messy when I'm doing the shooting. So that goes in, and then the sick bag's kept inside that. Now that keeps just that extra dig of heat off it, and uh, it keeps the sleeping bag dry. Now, that is key for winter camping, especially on your multi days. That is your last safe haven. That is your life saver. That is everything. Keep it dry. Keep it bone dry. Yeah. See when you get into these sleeping bags, I hear people about getting them with your wet clothes and, and you know dry them out in your sleeping bag. See when it's severe cold or other conditions or or cold conditions. Listen to me. Don't be doing that. <clears throat> because not only are you trying to heat that sleeping bag up to heat you up, then what you're doing inside that sleeping bag is you're trying to pump energy in. You also heat a pair of frozen boots, heat a pair of wet trousers, it's fucking stupid. Use a thing called wet and dry routine. Get in this set of dry clothes of your coat and get back in that sleeping bag. Let's be honest, you're going out the next day, the kit's still going to be wet. It's not going to be dry again. Or if you do get it dry and you go out, it's getting wet again. Fucking think about it. It's always about a good night's sleep. Fresh head, you think better and you operate better. So remember. Let me show you the way this. I'll put. I'll put this. The way. I, the way I put the sleeping bag away. Right. I'll put it into my bivy bag. Right. The sleeping bag into the bivy bag, and it'll all go into the stuff stack. So I'll do it here now and show you in a sec. Hey, so you got some DOS bag into the bivy. Now into the compression sack. <laughs> what do you see the size? This says it looks pretty big. There, uh, yeah. In the bivy bag. I mean, imagine this Gore-Tex bag, 
Nos pueden salir. Even if I get wet, I can't be in. My sleeping bag is still inside there. All snugged up. I'm being kept all nice and dry. So guys, yeah, here's my bundle of joy. Water quality sleeping bag. On the Gore-Tex bag. Inside it. We're going to drop it in wet ground. That is going to stay reasonably dry. But... Don't always finish there. Before that goes into my rucksack, even though it's in that nice Gore-Tex bag. This may sound extreme to some of these guys, but now it's the days and end. And living in the sticks. But this shit has to be done. Just put it into a, uh, a heavy plastic bag. And then... Uh, seal her up. And then she's ready to go into your rucksack. No matter what, life and death, this thing's going to keep you warm in severe conditions. And you're always going to have somewhere dry to go to. The tip, don't be putting wet clothes into it. Don't be putting wet boots into it. Keep everything wet the hell out of your dog's back. Right guys, my rucksack. My rucksack here is uh, again a military bargain. It's a long back bargain. Uh, it's 100 litres. I uh, have side pockets up and go on to this, this fucking thing can hold a lot of kit, a lot of kit, loads of pockets on it, J just, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into it, just check it out, it's a multi long back bargain, uh, the kit they can hot put in this is fucking unbelievable, see all the straps and all, they're not like this pussy cat stuff, they're squatty proof, <laughs> that's what they are, squatty proof, you can fucking swing off these and pull them down so tight, you know what I mean, so, it's squatty proof. I've had, this one here I've actually had it from. It was about 13 when I was in the army cadets. And this thing's still going strong, still humping kit. So, I like them because they're squatty proof and they can take a lot of abuse. And they're reasonably waterproof. Uh, I'm, I'm just check them out on the internet. Same with the sleeping bags. The dust bag was in here. Now, I'm putting my sleeping bag in this. It's a fucking... That's how I put it in. Good squeeze right to the bottom. I'm not going to show you because it looks brittle, but... Right guys, so that, that's my sleeping bag, sort of sleeping system with a, with a Gore-Tex bag on. So what I'm doing then next is, keep my, it's not, it's not an overly thick, but it's thick. Keep my out okay. What I do is then, we get in the tank room and keep my out. And uh, that's my insulation on the ground, on the deck, okay? And that is thick, as you've seen in the other video the side of a bargain, okay? You've also seen that we mat sometimes, it'll have to be blow up mat, we try Nordic. It just fits in that wee small bag. Not much bigger in your hand, but it's a bit thicker in a can of cup. And this is for here. Yeah. Uh, blows up the eddy, okay? Just for the wee. I'm not going to blow it up now, though. Right. Even even if you're not fit and healthy, you'll be able to blow that up. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it has a nice big color on it. You see this? Once it goes on top of your kit mat, and then your dust bag on top of it, nicely off the ground, even if the ground's a wee bit lumpy and bumpy, it's comfortable. And this just makes camping pleasure. All I used to use, even in the winter, even sometimes down to about minus 8 and 10, was that kit mat. Wouldn't it take? Maybe now it's getting older, just a wee bit of comfort, not much. Well, no, not much, I planned it. And it's a really good job, so I recommend that. So what's my full sleeping system? The military gore tags bag, inside the bivy bag. Nice mat, what is it? Five mil thick, yeah. And then, I try and order it, nice wee blow up mat, nicely on top of it. Sleep. Right, so let's see, guys. There's my sleeping bags in there. Kip mat, mowing mat. So there's a way, and that's my sleeping system all in the bag, ready for action. All they have is really a bit, put of these basic, simple, cheap Regana waterproof trousers, and they really are waterproof. They keep me pretty dry, so I, I'm happy with them. A lot of people go for board tax and all, whatever, but whatever you're into, for me, this is cheap and cheerful, and it works. Mountaineering doesn't have to be expensive. Oh, but now it's a Gore-Tax, 
I uh, have not my jacket. Waterproof, good job. They come in all different colours, you can get DPM pattern. And, or if you don't like all that sort of stuff, you can get a Royal Navy one cheap uh, that start glue. Uh, but this kit is cheap and cheerful. If you're gonna buy a fucking Gore-Tex mountaineering jacket, big money. These very cheap. There's my legs and top half kept dry. Keep the gutters out of the side of it. It is for gators. I see a lot of people buying Gore-Tex gators. What the fuck's the point of Gore-Tex gators? Trust me in that. I've had Gore-Tex gators and these are every bit as good. Basically a shit space to keep your stuff off your fucking legs. It's just a mock. Because you can wear all the waterproof gear in them. So that's how I stay dry out there. Uh, that's the kit. And remember, everything that goes inside that, put it in plastic bags. Even your tent. See when I'm packing the tent away? My fly sheet will go inside a plastic bag. See the inner of the tent? Inside a plastic bag. See the whole fucking lot? Inside another plastic bag going into my kit. The reason being, if it's wet and you're moving about, if anything's going inside that bag, it's saved so nothing's getting wet. So that's a secret. Because the longer you can stay dry, the longer you can sleep better, the better you function, the better you work, and the more enjoyable things are. Now, yeah, so, so, anyway, so really, there's what I'm showing you. Look, temps out, dried out, dry everything, always look after your kit. That's a bit dirty, I'll give it a wipe out, clean the shit off it. Oh, yeah. and then we'll get these folded up and put into my bag. Now, here's an all week tip. Right? See when you're packing your bag, right? I have like the likes of my waterproof stuff, keeping the top pouch. And it's for obvious reasons, if it fucking pisses down, I can drop a fucking burger and just lift them out the top. I don't have to open the actual burger and I don't have to go in there. Just grab my waterproof side and everything's still staying safe. But when you're packing stuff where your cookers go, stuff like your wash kit, have all your stuff in your spur jacket, always pack them in the same place. Why you may say, right? You get so used to when you're packed in the same place, even if it's pitch black at night when you're hooking about, you know where your toothbrush is, you know where your fucking dry socks are, you know where everything is, you don't even need, if you didn't want to put a torch on you, or you didn't need a torch, you can just go like that, and you know where everything is. And then it means you're not fumbling in wet conditions or bad conditions, you're not pulling loads of stuff out looking for one thing. And that, when you're starting to do that and pulling stuff out everywhere, it's piss poor fucking prep. So remember that, pack your kit well, pack it in the same place all the time, so you know what's where. And another thing going in here, which I always carry, tiny towel, and a tiny wash kit, toothpaste, bit of soap, and a bit of deodorant. If you're in the field or in the hills for a while, you gotta stay, you gotta stay clean and you gotta stay healthy. And if you can't put blood brushing your teeth and stuff in the morning, it's down to fucking just laziness. So, like every morning, even when the frost's out there and it's bad weather, I'm down, have a wash, brush my teeth, freshen up, and you're ready to crack on with the day, and you're feeling good. Small wash can, and again, what the hell goes in the plastic bags? You know, if I was to die in the mountain, you'd probably find me up there for about another 300 years, because I'm wrapped up like a mummy with plastic bags <laughs> but that's how you spur clothes in that uh, on the thermals for at night again inside plastic bags inside a waterproof bag you know what I mean it's, this is what makes it all nice when you're out there packing everything right alright get the tent folded up get the tent in the reason I'm going to close in under the tent, I'm sleeping bags at the bottom and then my spur clothes. And the reason being, if I come into a situation where I get my tent up, it's freezing condition, I'm soaked in bone, pop my tent up, that's the first thing out of the bag. And then, because um, there's my dry clothes, if I need to get my dry clothes, get the wet clothes up, get my dry kit on, and then I can take out the sleeping bag and stuff, and I'm still in nice dry clothes then, and, and build, build me, built my wee home up for the night, sleeping bag, I get my brew on, and I'm doing it all in dry clothes. But it's only once I've got the tent on. So remember how to pack your bag on the way that you're going to work, what you're going to be taking out first and what you're going to be doing. Because the last thing you want to be doing is have a kit everywhere, especially if it's, 
if it's raining or it's wet or heavy snow, things get buried. So just be wary. Think how you're going to operate and how you're going to set the kit out and how you're going to set up. And that's how you pack your bag. Ten stuff you've seen up. It's a gear top. I'm not going to be too much in the ten. There's lots of stuff out there. Just pick whatever you want. But if you're going into the mountains in winter, get a four season tent. And the four season tent will have nice snow flaps down the sides. It's not the wind can't howl through. Now you've seen it before me from a cooking. Uh, it's just uh, army mess tins. I like the mess tins, right? Uh, for me, I can use one for broom, for water, one for cooking, and there's my lid. See, they're a bit bulky and whatever, but with that, with them two together, <coughs> and then my cooker holds inside it. But obviously, we need the night before. That, so. It's all into that. So that's my cooker, my mess tins of two pots. Uh, that's how I do that. I also put my brew kit in there. Uh, my sugar, my tea, my coffee, all in there. So a full brew kit, and I just pull it out. Uh, my gas canister, I keep it inside along with, my, along with my food, and I can get a lot of food in there. So really, and the, and the reason it's like that, my brew kit and all is really handy, is if you're out in a shitty day, things are going wrong, you can get hungered in somewhere. Get a fucking brew on them and get your head back in gear. It's not as good as a good brew when the shit's going wrong. Suss everything out and move on again and everything's handy. Oh, really that's it with the kit and that. There's, there's not, some of the cold weather stuff, like some of the mittens I've got. Anything that you're going to use out for cold weather and all that kind of, make sure it stays reasonably, reasonably dry. Make sure that if you're using the mitts and stuff, Gore-Tex definitely. 100% and you can buy all that military kit for next to nothing. That's really all on, on what I'm going to show you. And I'm not going to go into how to fold the tent and all that and on up. You know how to pack them away and seal them all in bags as well. So if you're putting this stuff away wet into your bargain, then in there still staying dry because everything's sealed up. We'll get the tent for you.